Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Uchi Obona and I passed the CCNA on the 28th of October 2022 and I felt it would be nice to talk a bit about the CCNA and share my experience so people who also want to take the exam can have a heads up and know what to expect when they're taking their exam. You can use the timestamps in, in the description below to skip to a segment you find more interesting. Those of us who may not know, the CCNA is an entry-level IT certification. It validates your skills on fundamental networking concepts. So basically, it just proves that you have the skills required to work as an entry-level network engineer. And as we may also know, networking is like the backbone of IT. So if you plan on going into other fields of IT, like cybersecurity, cloud computing, IoT, or even software engineering, I would strongly prefer you have a good background in networking because it will give you an edge and help you get jobs in the labor market. You can schedule the CCNA exam via the Pearson View website. I'll leave a link to the website in the description below. But basically, you will just be choosing a test location either from your home or at a Pearson View test center. You also choose the time and the date that you would like to take the exam. After filling all that anyway, the next thing is to make payment. The CCNA as at the time of recording this video is 300 USD and you can pay with your credit or debit card. But here is the bummer. PSV doesn't accept credit cards from Nigeria, Togo, Ghana and a handful of other African countries. I'll leave a link to a list of the countries in the description below so do check it out. I already know the CCNA didn't accept credit cards from my country and I spent a lot of time trying to get a credit card. So don't make the same mistakes I made. I will advise you pay via your Pearson View test center. I took my CCNA exam at a Pearson View test center. I scheduled the exam for 10 a.m. and I was there by 9.25 a.m. You have to be at your test center at least 30 minutes before the set time. I came into the test center, filled some paperwork and I was logged into the exam. The exam was going well until boom, I saw a person that required me to interact with the CLI. I was really shocked. I was shocked because I wasn't expecting to see a CLI question. but. It went really well, I guess, and I was able to do the required configurations. If you've been preparing well with labs, it shouldn't be much of an issue for you. I also advise you to do labs that challenge you. So if you're giving easier labs in the CCNA, you can finish it with no time because you're being timed. And if you're giving intricate labs, you can be able to at least make an attempt or do the required configurations. I'm not authorized to say exactly what the questions were, but I can say this. Do all the labs are required to do for the CCNA exam. OSPF, VLANs, ETA channels, and the rest of them. Just be very used to using the CLI. Once you end your exam, your results should pop out in front of your screen. But for some reason, I was locked out of the system. Mainly, I ended my exam. Horrified, I signaled to my invigilator that I would like to be excused. I quickly ran to my phone to see if I got an email from CCNA or PSM View directing me to a website where I can see my results. But I wasn't having internet service. So I had to wait for 10 minutes before I could see my results and I was very ecstatic when I passed and you will also feel the same when you pass too. My advice to you is to keep your cool when taking the exam. You could fail a bunch of questions or feel you failed a bunch of questions and still pass. So don't fright during the exam and let your results decide if you've passed or failed. So would I prefer the CCNA to individuals who are brand new to IT? Yeah, definitely, I would prefer the CCNA to people who are brand new to IT. I wasn't brand new to IT anyway. I was into internet marketing and web development before I decided to go the cyber route. But my knowledge on computer networking was generally vague, so I would say I was on par with most of you watching this video. What I wouldn't prefer though is bad study. For my study, I made use of David Bumble's CCNA course on Udemy. I also made use of Jeremy's IT lab. Is a free CCNA course on YouTube. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Um, I would also advise you to use Boson software. It's a software that simulates the CCNA testing environment and questions. I'll advise you to take a lot of tests till you start scoring high and feel very comfortable taking the exam. So currently, I'm trying to break into the cybersecurity space. I still haven't decided on which certification I will take next, but it's definitely between. Uh, Computer Security Plus and CC, that's the Certified in Cyber Security by ISC Squared. Whenever I do make the decision and take the exam, I will let you guys know and let you know why I made the decision. So do subscribe to my channel if you would like to know more about that. And also, if you like IT in general, I will be making 
um, more videos um, uh, about IT and IT-related content, so you can subscribe to you know, learn more about IT.